In this lesson, we're going to revisit a topic that we last saw back in chapter one, and that is the topic of front end rounding. Now, um, remember with front end rounding, um, you're going to estimate an operation by rounding each number to its leftmost place value. Okay, so I think the first mental hurdle to make sure you overcome here is the desire to want to round both numbers to the same place. Okay, they do not need to be rounded to the same place value. So for example, I have 1.95 minus 0.548. I'm going to round this number to the nearest whole, because that's its leftmost place value. And I'm going to round this number to the nearest tenth. Simple as that. So if this is my rounding digit, this 1, the 1 next to it is a 9. That tells me to round that to 2. I could put 0, .0 but it's not necessary uh, at this point because it just rounds to 2. Um, and then minus, well this is a 4 so I get to leave the 5 alone and then zero everything else out. So that just rounds to 0 0.5. So I'll go ahead and set up my vertical subtraction here. 2 minus 0 0.5 and of course um, I need something up here so uh, since I'm subtracting 5 from nothing at this point. So I put a 0 there and then realize I need to do a little borrowing. So 10 minus 5 is 5, 1 minus 0 is 1. So my answer of course is 1.5. So over here I'm going to round the first number to the nearest 10 because that's its leftmost uh, and I should say non-zero place value. right? So over here I'm not counting this 0 just as I didn't count the 0 over here. Um, and then it, this leftmost non-zero place value is the tenths place. So since the digit to the right of my tens place is a 4, I'm going to leave my tens place as a 4. So that'll round to 40. And then I'm multiplying that by 0 0.9. I rounded that 8 up because the number next to it to the right of it is bigger than 5. And so then I multiply these, 40 times 0 0.9. 9 times 0 is 0. 9 times 4 is 36. There is one decimal point here, so I need to send it back one place in the product. So the answer is just going to be 36.